Hi, so how you doing? Good, how about you? Good. So w tell me what's going on out here. Well, a bunch of uh, patriots in New Hampshire say that we're going to have a rally here at the Hampton Beach on a Memorial Day. This yeah. is a day we had to remember our fallen heroes that paid the ultimate sacrifices for freedom and democracy. And the only job that we can do is say thank you and we honor you. And we cannot even do that. That is really stupid. Okay, it's a Memorial Day. American, if you cannot do anything, go out and say thank you. Thank you, fallen heroes. And the 59,000 American heroes that died for this flag here in Vietnam, they didn't die to have communism flourishing in America like today. Okay, April 30th, 1975. The communists took over the South Vietnam by force the Vietnamese communists, backed by the Chinese communists, and the Russian communists took over South Vietnam by force, okay? And the whole country killing the lines for everything. And guess what, 45 years later, the whole America killing lines for everything. That is so wrong. That is wrong. We do not want socialism nor communism in this country. Get rid of them and the one the American communists right now are the American Democrats. So all Americans beside appreciating our fallen heroes and the men and women in services, they need to go out on November 3rd and all vote for Trump. All vote for Republicans, straight Republicans everywhere, in every state and every level of your state to take back our country back from communism, socialism, globalism, terrorism. No, no globalism, no communism, no socialism, and no terrorism. Why don't we want those things? Oh, because you know why? The people who used to protest against the Vietnam War, they think communists is so good, everybody has the same pay, everybody has the same job, same everything. Guess what? Nobody work hard to sell the same thing as the guy who doesn't do jack. Okay? You just sit in your home and collect that twelve hundred dollars stimulus check when the Hush front, money. The frontline people risking their life out there, paying taxes so we all can stay home in our safe home and collect payments, that is wrong. Nobody gonna work and nobody gonna produce anything and oh, we're gonna be like Venezuela. We eat out of the trash can. Mm -hmm. Soon we enough. We don't want to live in hell. That is a hell on earth. I came from Vietnam, the communist country. It's a hell on earth. We do not want America turned to be a hell hole on earth. No, we don't want communism. There's nothing good about it. Nothing good about it. Yeah. Nothing. Americans had to stand up and fight. That's we right. We have to fight. We had to voice up. We had to do something. We cannot just sit here and get on the bandwagon so they can put us in the gas chamber, just like the Nazi. Because we all like, oh, it's not us yet. It's not us. Just turn your blind eyes on. They're killing our American elderly people in the hospital because their relatives cannot go with them in the hospitals. You know? Well, they want to save that money, the pension money, too. That's why they're like, oh, it's not, let's just doesn't care. No, it's not old people. It's not affecting old people, right? Yeah. But now it is. It is affecting, it is only old people. El elderly people in New York, Governor Cuomo, he put COVID people, sick people in the nursing home mm. to infect and kill elderly people and why their relatives cannot visit them. They cannot keep their eyes on them. They cannot protect them. So they all get killed. And if you look at those Democrat states, the death rate because of COVID is so outrageously high compared to Republican controlled state. Even the city, you can compare that. Why? Does the, the virus have the political agenda? No. It's the people that manipulate it. And by now, if Americans are not awake yet, you deserve to live in the hellhole on earth. If you don't do anything, mm. I came from such hellhole. I can survive communism here and socialism here. 
But let me tell you something. Most Americans in this country are so soft because you were born with everything handed at your mouth. Because this American flag, that people die for that you don't even be out here to say thank you. You ungracious people deserve to live in the hell hole. That these people pay the ultimate sacrifice that their own lives so that we can be free. We cannot even say thank you. What the hell is wrong with us? You know, it's so wrong. So we have to say thank you. And the next big thank you you can do is follow their step. Walk in their path and continue what they left off. Defend freedom and, and, and democracy for America. That is our job. Everyone's job. That's right. Not the people in the uniform, the services. Each American is a soldier to take back this country by our vote and by our actions every day. Because the terrorism people, they are sleeping agents. They like us. They look like us. They walk among us. They sit in our offices. So each citizen, we waiting for the government to do everything. You deserve to walk into that gas chamber. And you don't even know that you walk into the gas chamber. Repeat history because we, we don't learn history. We forgot history and we don't learn to appreciate what we have. Okay, so wake up Americans. Do something. Okay, be brave and read your constitutions and know your rights and stand up and fight. Even if you pay the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate price like our hero, yes, it's our job because we are Americans. Right? It is. Yes. We all have the equal rights and responsibility. Benefit doesn't come with nothing. Freedom is not free. We all heard that. But we heard it, but do we even think of practicing it? Do we? How many people out here doing anything for Americans, for America? You know? Everybody want to enjoy when everybody is sleeping. That is socialism. You know That's communism sad, right there. Sorry to interrupt you. They used to have a service every Memorial Day at 8 o'clock in the morning by the statue there. Yeah. Well, guess what? They canceled it. Freaking Memorial Day and they can't even have a service for the veterans. That is wrong. That is so no wrong. Bullshit. And the people that sit you. in the office, Bullshit. they sit in the office. What did they take the oath? What oath? It's all based on the Bible. Okay? And our, the people that labor this land that we stand on, we don't even thank them. Right? That's wrong. Memorial Day. We have to be here. We have to remember our heroes. We have to thank them and we have to encourage ourselves to walk that path. That path that they walked before us. So many fallen already. It's us, our turn now to do the same thing. And we're not dying. Nobody here to come and kill us. They can take, you know, they can take away our job, our business, whatever. But can they take away our life? Not without God's permission. Right? And that's why they don't want to open our churches. We have to reopen all the churches and all the places of worship. Because once people believe the constitution in this country is based on the Bible, and our rights are are given by God, not by government nor people. No one can take our rights away. Yep. Then people have the courage and, and the strength and the blessing from the Holy Spirit to do what they need to do and not being scared. We can all be scared, but with the power of God, we won't be scared. All our heroes were scared during before the time that they, they, they went into the combat. My dad was a Marine captain during the Vietnam War. He fought in the battles every day, okay? He's like the guy in the middle of the battle. He survived the war, but he was imprisoned by the communists in the prison camp for seven years, okay? All these men and people, they're all military family like us. We know the sacrifice that our hero made and their family paid too. You know, the loss of the father, the brother, uncle, grandpa, it's our loss. 
if we don't be here? All these people that sacrifice, like, why do we have to die for this country? So the day that we remember, nobody even here to say thank you to them. Why? I can just go to my regular job and make my living and come home with my family. So every year we can all be together. Now, who's with them? Who remember them? No one, just their family. You know? So we have to remember our job and our hero. The best sacrifice is their life right there. And what can we do for our country? Like President Kennedy used to say, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what can you do for your country? You know? He's a Democrat president. So what? I'm a Republican. But what he said is true. It's still true to this day. Doesn't matter who say it. It's true, then we just follow. We open America, we open our church. Everybody has to stand up and do your part as a citizen of this country. You know, if we don't do our part, then don't complain of all these things happening to us. Mm -hmm. You know, you deserve it. You know, but you know, just since we're all here, you know, I just want to say, you know, thank you to all our fallen heroes that fought and defend for freedom and democracy for America and for Europe and for this world. We thank them all. You know, we thank them all. Without them, we wouldn't have this land, this wonderful dreamland to be here. And thank you for all the men and women in uniform right now, still defending our freedom and democracy right now. You know, they made so much sacrifices. And thank you to President Trump, our commander-in-chief, because without him, we've lost our country already. 2016, Hillary won. We already lost inside. We don't even have a fight. So thank you, President Trump and VP Pence and the Trump administration and all the frontline people that worked so hard to guide us through this pandemic of 0.04 percent death rate. Thank you, we know it's a lie, and we listen to our Commander-in-Chief, Open America. Hooray! Now. Open New Hampshire Hooray! now. Open New Hampshire now. We are here at Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Open New Hampshire now. This is the summer. This beach should be packed with people, with Americans, with business. You know, we had to open New Hampshire now, and we had to boycott China. Chinese communists is very bad for this world. Boycott China. Open America up, people. And how about this one here? Fauci? Fire Fauci. Fauci, you gotta go. The, I put this side because he's like the death, black and white. He brought death to Americans and to people around the world. And you need to see this, China lie, people die, okay? So we have to boycott China. We have to boycott China. Get my breathies. I have a mother, thank you. It's none of your business. Oh, there it is. my job. Nice. Boycott China. We have to open our church. Mm -hmm. Mine did yesterday. Go, go take a walk with us. Yeah. Um, um, open our and churches tonight. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, and, and you have to see this because the Vietnamese American for Trump. Okay? These are, these are the real Vietnamese Americans. Because all Vietnamese Americans in this country are the victims of the communists. Okay? Don't listen to the Democrats that use the communist specific agents that fight against Trump. That is wrong. All of us, Vietnamese Americans for Trump. And it, it, we're not against Chinese people. It's just the Chinese government. Communists is very bad for America. They are our enemy right now. Don't, re don't forget that. And let me tell you something, Governor of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker. He thinks the Chinese government 
for one million something mass that run over here. But he forgot to start this war against America and the whole world. China stopped all American companies exporting our N95 masks to come and save Americans. So Baker, get your straight, your facts straight, okay? Boycott China. Whoever prays and work with these, they are the enemies of Americans and America. Boycott China. Buy a bounty. The people die. You don't want you know, and we have to reopen America. I mean, if they want to run us off, they better build, build the wall. wall. Guys, we have to build the wall. And President Trump, build the wall. Now, we have to build a wall with the economy. We have to bring back jobs. American company had to bring jobs back to America to keep America safe. And do not give money anymore to our enemies to build ships and nuclear weapons to kill Americans and pay off um, Democrat officials to attack us from the inside and some rhino Republican too like Mitt Romney okay those people gotta go they are not Republican they Republican in names only okay so though before we can get rid of the enemies, we had to get rid of the enemies inside our troops first. Those are American Democrats. So vote them all out. Vote all Republicans in and you had to make sure who is the real Republican before you vote. So read up and get involved. Okay? So we can take back the country inside first before we can defend with the outside enemies. We had to work together, guys. American patriots had to stand up and fight. That's the best thank you we can do on Memorial Day. Follow that path. Thank you. Well said. Thank you. Awesome. Very well said. Amazing. Thank you. You want it here?